McCarvey, march into the playoffs with that victory. Coach Katash has done a remarkable job with his team this season. 15 years since his first spell as head coach, Oded Katash is back on the sidelines and realizing childhood dreams with Maccabi Playtika Tel Aviv. Maccabi was a team of Israel, not only from Tel Aviv. And sitting home, watching the games uh, uh, with my family, exciting with their wins. I mean, if I had a dream, it was to win Euroleague. Life of coach took a while. A lot of ups and downs, and I find my way. Uh, actually, in the, I believe something like four or five years ago, I felt like that I'm really ready. And, and I'm looking for it, and I put it as a main goal to come back to coach in the Euroleague and the highest level. And I was just building myself and waiting for that uh, opportunity. With the Israelis reaching the playoffs in consecutive campaigns, Katash orchestrated Maccabi's first playoff win in nine years this season with a game one victory on the road at AS Monaco. Put a lot of effort. I'm really proud of the guys, but it's only the first one. He's a coach that is very even kill. He's not a coach that gets too rattled or too emotional, where um, he's very steady in, in, the, in the way that he coaches and, and that, um, you know, comes out and that, that feeds off to the players where we're not um, too high or too low either. I think you do basketball for, for, for the fans. And special f fans like Maccabi has, and special atmosphere in, in the Euroleague nights. I think they deserve uh, a good basketball. We know the history of Maccabi, we know the history of the coaches of Maccabi. And it's never easy. Uh, you always need to have a little bit of luck. The spirit of Maccabi Tel Aviv, you know, the, the tradition, what they call the DNA of Maccabi. I mean, you need to handle the pressure when you play or coaching for Maccabi Tel Aviv. They want to to make it to the final four, but in the way I grow up like that, I used to it and I like it.